The character in this game does not represent all people with depression. Please note, there may be triggering material within the game. Make sure to take breaks if necessary. It feels like no matter what, the end of one tunnel is the start of another. Which would be the greater suffering, to remain in this endless loop or to find an exit that's just as meaningless? If there's no means of escape, what's the point of moving forward?
Let's rehearse. I have to tell her. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. Why is this so heavy? They're only words, but somehow they're not coming out. What's with these thoughts? Okay, I'm ready. Wait! She's just being polite. There's no need to bother her. If you answer the question for real, they'll think you're weird. There's no point in making her worry. She can't help me anyway. We often dwell on So our efforts soon go down the drain, again and again. On occasion, we may be willing to open up our hearts. But when we hide our true selves, it feels like people barely notice. Okay, I got this. Keep going, nearly there. Leave me alone. Let me concentrate. Concentrate. How is this so hard for you? Why 
Why does this keep happening? I just want it too well. All these lingering doubts don't just interfere with our concentration at work. They impact our core confidence in all that we do, in ourselves and in our futures. Over and over, we live our days like this until finally, we lose everything. This segment was just a representation of having depressive emotions and feelings. You may have felt this way before, too. Did you think depression was simply about having extreme thoughts? Too heavy. I need to take some stuff out. Bill, I've been so empty since you left. I wish you both every happiness. What am I gonna do? If I fail, Dad will be furious. Why can't I keep my focus? Mom, where are you? When are you gonna come back? I didn't manage to finish my work today, even though I don't have anything to do when I get back home. There's nothing else left inside the bag. Why is it still so heavy? The metaphor of the bag. The burden couldn't be attributed to anything within because the heaviness was within the bag itself. There is no logical way to explain depression. Even so, we seek out reasons for the unhappiness. Perhaps it was a breakup or an issue with our studies. It hurts to be perceived as someone with a mental disorder because we don't want society to label us as oversensitive or even crazy because we're too emotional. But by doing this, we invite those around us to try to solve the symptoms rather than get to the root of the issue. At the end of the day, we're left only with a lack of satisfaction, and our depression lingers.
Let me see. I like... This isn't what I want. Let's try something else. burger with lettuce, tomato, and pineapple. Okay, that's what I want. finish one burger. We can taste things and tell if they're good. But eating won't make us feel content or happy, no matter how much we consume. Sometimes we even feel ashamed by our appetite. What makes you happy? That's probably the trickiest question of all to answer.
who's holding the camera? Is it on a tripod? Huh, their cat isn't in this. My cousin graduated before I even realized. Fit enough to go hiking at that age. How nice. Maybe I should get breakfast at Fellow's Cafe tomorrow. She's put on some weight. She shouldn't be old enough to care about that. Every day is the same. Things repeat themselves day after day. Time flies. She's all grown up now, but I'm still living the same life. Days repeat like turning wheels. Ten years, twenty years, thirty years. The repetition isn't even the most terrifying part. It's the fact that I can't see the end. If there's no means of escape, what's the point of moving forward? Go to sleep and don't think about anything. Stop thinking. Focus on sleeping.
Why can't I stop thinking about it no matter how hard I try? I fall asleep when I don't want to, but I can't sleep when I need to. The more I worry about not falling asleep, the harder it gets. The more I want to control my mind, the harder it becomes. There are plenty of things like this in life. It's so frustrating. Anyone could be suffering from depression. This game is designed to place players into the shoes of someone living with depression. Rather than thinking about the symptoms, we invite you to focus on feeling. We hope this experience can provide some helpful insight if there is someone in your life who has depression 